So we're going to walk through it step by step. So the first things first, I have Logic Pro loaded up. And here is like the main window. You can see all of my projects from GarageBand here. That's what those are. All right, so then we're going to click this plus sign. And we're going to start a new project. So I'm going to just click the option to where it says tracks. Okay. And then I'm going to load up audio. Okay. And I just do that because that's just how I practice it. But this is the, my audio track is for my vocals. You know, that's where I'm going to record. So I like to drag my audio file beneath my vocal track. So I just do that because it's just how I do in the regular logic. Now we're going to need the slide to the side option. As you can see up here to this date that I'm recording it, there is no option, you know, the three button option. All right. So what we're going to do is get out of here and then we're going to go to our files. Now you can just type files. Mine was already loaded up because of course I practiced how to do this before I shot this video. So files. So then I'm going to make sure my file is in here. Mind your business. So I'm just going to do sweet sound. All right. So this is the track that I'm going to be dragging in. You can see it's on my iCloud drive. If I go here, if I play it, I want to make sure that it's right in the file option before I drag it in. Right, that's it i know it's good okay it's on my icloud drive and it's in recents all right so next what we're about to do is we're going to click these three buttons here and then we're going to tap slide over and when you slide over then you can open up logic pro my logic pro is right here okay so i'm in my recents and you can actually type the name of your file if you just not seeing it so you would type it right here in the search box and I would just put sweet because it's called sweet sound and there it is in my recents like it was when I you know check for it so all I'm gonna do is hold it down and just drag it over okay so then it's on then it's gonna say this the added audio file contains tempo information do you want to import it into this project so do I want to import the tempo information into this audio track i'm going to push yes so right now we're at 120 and see it automatically adjusted the tempo up there to 87 okay what you can also do is if you know the bpm of your track you can go ahead and put the bpm in manually um before you even drag the track in go to move that i moved that by sliding it over okay it imported my track and it also imported the entire track so that's a good thing okay and now it's at the right bpm so i can turn on the metronome and i can make sure it's right i'm going to go up here just to show you guys how to change the tempo but you go up here to the box where you would change the key of your song you know you can change it change the key you can change the time signature, okay? But here, if you tap this 87 dot, you can change it to whatever you want to. Or you feel like it's not right, you can also tap the tempo in. But yeah, it's another video. All right, and that is how you drag an audio file into Logic Pro X for you to record over. All right, the last thing I want to show you is adjusting the volume of your audio file. So if you go down to the bottom and you can see these three lines with different dots, that is a symbol for your track mixer. My audio is called Sweet Sound. And you can adjust the volume. So I can put it lower. So when you're recording, you may want it to be lower. You can turn it up. Okay. If you want it to be in, you know, your right ear, you can also do that too as well, you know, pan, pan the audio track, All right? And you can also rename your track if you want to. So the way you would do that is you see in the mixing error right here, it says Sweet Sound 2. So what I would do is just click where it says Sweet Sound 2, and you can go to Rename, and then rename it what you want. All right. 
but it's so much i could just make a lot of videos which i'm probably am so yeah so thank you so much for watching this i hope it helps you i just wanted to be the person to teach you how to do what seems simple for everyone is not there's going to be a lot of new people coming to logic pro x and i am a big logic pro x user and a big advocate for it and i'm just so excited so thank you so much for watching